Hello viewers, welcome back to the Sons of God channel. Today's video is an interview session with Visionary Lorena. Many of you viewers who follow the messages on this channel are conversant with Lorena's messages. This interview was conducted by the founder of Totus Totus Evangelical Network. A great work which the founder has put in her ministry, with interviews of visionaries around the world, to help followers understand the source and depth of heaven's messages. This evangelical network has also interviewed other visionaries, whose messages we don't upload on this channel. The interview with Lorena is one of the most interesting I have seen, as Lorena gave answers to certain questions which I was not able to understand until now. With that in mind, we give a lot of thanks to the host of this interview session. If you wish to hear from Lorena, a segment of this interview has been uploaded on this channel, with reference to where you can watch the full video. In this interview, all questions about the three days of darkness and the elimination of consciences will be answered. She answered these questions based on the sequence of events in the heavenly calendar. Here is a segment of the video from the interview. God bless you as you watch. Okay, a um, lot to think about here. So let's now let's just before going to too many questions, let's go to the third part of the militant number three. Um, what are praying soldiers? I mean, what what is their mission? And uh, are they on the battlefield too? Like um, they're practicing uh, soldiers and the first fruits. Uh, ella dice que la tercera parte de cuáles son los soldados militantes uh, también que es lo que la misión que ellos tienen um, y si ellos también van a estar en el campo de batalla como los otros soldados um, y, y si ellos van a tener su hogares marianos o refugios. Los soldados orantes van a tener sus refugios marianos, van a estar asistiendo a, a, las, a los hermanos que lleguen de la, de la tribulación en los, en los refugios marianos. Su misión es acondicionar sus refugios marianos y estar este, listos para cuando llegue la gente de la, de la tribulación. Y ellos no van a estar en el campo de batalla, van a estar orando por los soldados practicantes, por, por los soldados, por las primicias, por la salvación de las almas por las almas del purgatorio, porque las almas del purgatorio también nos van a ayudar. Van a estar en oración constante para estar este, sosteniendo a, al ejército militante con sus oraciones. Basically, these prayed uh, soldiers are, are going to be praying most of the time to help uh, spiritually the first fruits and the second uh, militant army. And also they're going to have their own uh, Marian homes, their own okay. refuge uh, places, but they're going to be there to help anybody that will come at that moment to seek refuge. They're going to be there available to them to help them. Okay. And so I guess that's when you'll find out you're praying so soldier. It has to deal with Marian homes. Cuando las personas sepan si son uh, de los soldados que van, van a estar rezando, son de las mismas personas que van a tener sus hogares marianos, o, o puede ser que en este momento ellos se den de cuenta. Lo, lo más importante es empezar a hacer nuestro hogar mariano desde ahorita o desde antes para tenerlo listo. Para cuando sea la gran tribulación, poder este, recibir a los que vienen de la gran tribulación. Pero sí es importante que todos tengamos nuestro hogar mariano en nuestra casa. Y ya después sabremos si, si realmente son, son, van a llegar a la gente a nuestra casa o si no es un hogar mariano. Nuestro ángel de la guarda nos va a dirigir a, a un refugio mariano seguro. Pero sí, sí es importante que tengamos ya nuestro refugio mariano cada uno en nuestra casa y tener todo listo lo que podamos, o sea, si realmente no tenemos mucho dinero, pues lo que podamos tener listo para recibir gente, pero sí es muy importante hacer eso. She said basically anybody can have their uh, refuge at their Marian homes. Um, we, be, a lot of people don't, doesn't know if they're going to be the ones that are chosen to have uh, people during the time of tribulation to come into their homes. But if we 
like let's say if we're not chosen to have a merry home the angels are going to tell us during the time um that your home is not the one that was chosen but they're going to direct the people to go to a real refuge uh in that way but she said that yes definitely anybody can have a marian home right now and have whatever you can have um uh provided uh, to help people okay so that i was going to ask if a marian home is a refuge place so what are the steps to have a marian home Eh, dice cuáles son los pasos que hay que seguir para tener un hogar mariano. Bueno, lo primero que hay que hacer es consagrarlo al Sagrado Corazón de Jesús y al Inmaculado Corazón de María, eh, ponerle agua bendita, este, tratar de vivir en armonía con todos los integrantes de, de la casa, este, seguir la espiritualidad de San Francisco de Asís, que es la que se va a seguir en los refugios marianos, que es humildad, obediencia y castidad. Y este, conocer un poquito de la Biblia, del Catecismo de la Iglesia Católica, la vida de, los, de la vida de los santos, tener este también un altarcito y este, tener, es, tener este, pues los sacramentales uh -huh. y estar preparados para por si llega gente y tener pues todo listo. Y pues básicamente es eso y pues tener organizado todo y pues eso eso es básicamente todo lo que hay que tener y aparte tengo unas oraciones que que son las que se rezan para hacer el refugio mariano que me dio este San Miguel Arcángel que es las que se van a rezar para formar el refugio mariano um, she said that basically the prayers that uh, Saint Michael the Archangel has given her to do uh, to pray if your home is going to be a Marian home. But uh, she said also you need to consecrate your home uh, to the Sacred Heart, um, to live in harmony uh, with the, the whoever lives in the home, uh, to follow um, the um, Saint Francis uh, uh, model, well, I guess, uh, chastity. You know. Um, to live a Christian life and to pray, to know the Bible, to pray the, uh, to read the Bible, to have all that, but basically live in harmony, to be ready because that's what basically what Mary Hong is gonna be, prayer, fasting, and and to dedicate ourselves basically to pray. Okay, so uh, she says sacred heart. She probably meant sacred heart and immaculate heart of Mary to be consecrated to the both of them, sacred yes. heart. In yes. heart. Okay. Um, so, all right. So, what happens if a family's in your family? There are some people who, um, you know, uh, don't live the Catholic faith or the Ten Commandments. I mean, can can you still have a marry a home and be prepared uh, without other unbelievers being affected? I mean, is there some prayer that? Um, that needs to be said. I mean, there obviously we have families and many, there are many people in our families who, you know, are not so much, um, you know what I'm saying, Catholic or, or Christian or, or believers. And I mean, we know about the young children, seven and under, they're so pure. Um, I don't think they would be affected. It's seven and above. Uh, but can you ask Lorena that? Ella quiere saber si todavía se puede tener un hogar mariano cuando uh, todavía hay miembros de la familia que no practican la fe católica ni se vive en armonía. Um, ¿Hay alguna oración que se puede hacer para tratar de todavía hacer un, el hogar un hogar mariano? O, y también cómo puede um, afectar a los niños que sean menores de siete años um, para a, tener un hogar que se puedan llevar y, y estar bien. Sí, San Miguel Arcángel me dio una oración que podemos hacer para que cuando los habitantes de la casa no están todos de acuerdo en, en, la, en hacer un refugio mariano, este, la tenemos que decir para que él pueda ayudarnos a, a formar nuestro refugio, aunque no todos estén de acuerdo. Si quieren se las leo, quieren que se las lee. Uh, yeah. preguntarle. Um, she said that uh, St. Michael the Archangel has given her a prayer that basically uh, is to pray um, even when the, all the family members are not in uh, agreement to have a Marian home, um, the prayer can be said. Oh, can we? Does that, is that, is that prayer published? 
I mean, is that something we can have? Esa está publicada. Eso es lo que ella quiere saber. Sí, la tengo en, los, en YouTube y este, en, el, en los mensajes de San Miguel Arcángel, ahí viene. Pero si quieren, se, la puedo leer, se las puedo leer. She said if you want her to read it because uh, she said that it's in YouTube and on the messages that she has, but um, she can also say it if you want. Okay, that you have it. Yes, <laughs> that would be wonderful. And then maybe uh, some way we can get it um, written in, in, in English, Anna, or something that we maybe we can post with this. Okay. Or, Oh, please, Lorena, go. Um, ella dice sí, que ella quiere la oración uh, y después vamos a uh, ponerla para que la gente el mire cuando está traducida también. Pero usted puede decirla. It might be in English le... already. Sí. Yo como habitante de esta casa. Um, I like a um, person that lives in this home. Y queriendo formar mi hogar mariano. And wanted to form a Marian home. Desato todo lazo de pecado. I release every uh, bond of a sin. Que ata esta familia. That uh, is uh, holding this family. Y los libero en el, en el nombre de la sangre de Cristo. And I release them in the name of the blood of Jesus Christ. De toda mala influencia. Of every bad influence. Que afecta a nuestra familia. That affects our family. Poniéndolos a los pies de la Santa Cruz. And I put everything in the foot of the cross. Atando sus pecados. And um, bonding all their sins. Y liberándolos de ellos. And uh, freeing ourselves from them. Para poder ser libres. So we can be free. Y llevar a cabo la constitución. And to have that constitution. De este hogar mariano. To have this Marian home. Ya que está bajo la protección. Now that is under the protection. Principal de la Virgen María de Guadalupe. Under the Virgin of Guadalupe. San Miguel Arcángel, the Marco the Archangel, la Santísima Trinidad, the Blessed Trinity, y todo el cielo, amén. And all, and all heaven, amén. It's beautiful. Yeah, thank you, Lorena. Gracias. Amen. Okay. So let's, that's beautiful. Let's move on now to the, uh, there's so many questions, so I'm just trying to, be specific uh, mm -hmm. with our time because of the translation. So now what about the three days uh, of darkness? Uh, what will be happening? Will the demons be coming from hell? Will they be let loose? Uh, you know, what is this three days of darkness? Ella dice que hay tantas preguntas, claro, que hay que hacer, pero quiere saber ahorita qué va a pasar con los tres días de oscuridad. Si esos tres días todos los demonios van a ser sueltos para... Claro, en la tierra para hacer más daño. Sí, en estos tres días de oscuridad vamos a vivir momentos muy, muy terribles. Vamos a estar, este, va a haber muchos desastres naturales, va a haber muchos terremotos en, de, muy fuertes y van a estar los demonios afuera de las casas, por lo que debemos se, este, tapar las puertas y las ventanas y encerrarnos en, nuestros, en nuestras casas. Y si empiezan a, a querer entrar a nuestras casas los demonios haciendo voces a veces de familiares o así, no hacerles caso porque son los demonios que quieren entrar. Entonces debemos de, de, de protegernos rezando la, la, la salmo de protección y la, la preciosísima sangre de Jesucristo. Y estar en oración continua para protegernos de los demonios y por nada el mundo abrir la puerta. Um, basically, she said that uh, during the three, of the three days of darkness, there's going to be a lot of earthquakes, a lot of disasters. Um, yes, the demons are definitely going to be out uh, trying to get us and hurt us. Uh, we need to be in our homes and have all the windows, every 
place that we cannot see outside or having them looking inside trying to get us they're going to change their voices trying to mimic our family members so we can let them in uh it's going to be a time that we need to be praying uh it's basically the precious blood of jesus uh so we can be protected and um other psalms uh to always you know to be um in a state of grace uh prepare knowing that um yes they are outside they're going to be uh it's going to be a dangerous time for for anybody. Okay. Uh, will this a mystical event happen at the end of the Great Tribulation? Uh, este evento va a pasar durante el tiempo de la Gran Tribulación. Sí, en los tres días de oscuridad es el castigo y es lo que pasa al último de la Gran Tribulación porque terminando los tres días de oscuridad este amanece amanece los cielos y tierras nuevas. So, ¿eso va a pasar antes de la, después del aviso? Sí, es el aviso y luego el milagro y luego el castigo al último. First is the warning, uh, then the miracle, and then that's when the, we get the great tribulation, the three days of darkness. Okay. Uh, and then that's, I guess, the earth will be re renewed when that happens. Y después de eso, cuando suceda, es cuando la tierra va a ser renovada. Sí, es. Terminando los tres días de oscuridad, va a amanecer y va a amanecer los cielos y tierras nuevas, ya todo renovado. Cuando eso suceda, después, uh, after the three days, she said, um, then the new earth and the new heavens are going to come out after the third day. Okay, so her messages, Ana, Lorena, your messages, uh, say, mention that we should be praying for the evil people outside of our refuge, outside of the Marian we should be praying for these evil people now can those people still be saved even at the end of the great tribulation i mean that would be amazing that is all we can show for now there are many other subjects which was discussed if you want to watch the full interview which we recommend for all our viewers just go to the comment session and ask for link to the full interview and we will respond to you with link to the full interview you can also go to the video description, you will see link to the full interview. God bless you all. Do not forget to give this video a like, and also, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. In the future we will be showing interview with other known visionaries. God bless you all, and see you in our next video.